Abel is a biblical figure in the book of Genesis within Abrahamic religions. He was the younger brother of Cain, and the younger son of Adam and Eve, the first couple in biblical history. He was a shepherd who offered his firstborn flock up to God as an offering. God accepted his offering but not his brothers. Cain then killed Abel out of jealousy. According to Genesis, this was the first murder in the history of mankind. According to the narrative in Genesis, Abel is Eve's second son. His name in Hebrew is composed of the same three consonants as a root meaning breath. Julius Valhausen, have proposed that the name is independent of the root. Eberhard Schrader had previously put forward the Akkadian blue as a more likely etymology. The First Morning, Oil on Canvas 1888 Painting by William Adolf Bouguereau and Christianity. Comparisons are sometimes made between the death of Abel and that of Jesus, the former thus seen as being the first martyr. In Matthew 23 35 Jesus speaks of Abel as righteous, and the Epistle to the Hebrews states that the blood of sprinkling, speaks, better things than that of Abel. The blood of Jesus is interpreted as bringing mercy, but that of Abel is demanding vengeance. Abel is invoked in the litany for the dying in the Roman Catholic Church, and his sacrifice is mentioned in the canon of the Mass along with those of Abraham and Melchizedek. The Alexandrian Rite commemorates him with a feast day on December 28. According to the Coptic Book of Adam and Eve, and the Syria Cave of Treasures, Abel's body, after many days of mourning, was placed in the Cave of Treasures, before which Adam and Eve, and descendants, offered their prayers. In addition, the Sethite line of the generations of Adam swear by Abel's blood to segregate themselves from the unrighteous. In the Book of Enoch, regarded by most Christian and Jewish traditions as extra-biblical, the soul of Abel is described as having been appointed as the chief of martyrs, crying for vengeance, for the destruction of the seed of Cain. This view is later repeated in the Testament of Abraham, where Abel has been raised to the position as the judge of the souls. According to Mandean beliefs and scriptures including the Colasta, the Book of John and Genza Rabbah, Abel is cognate with the angelic soteriological figure Hibel Ziwa, classical Mandaic. Sometimes translated splendid Hybel, who is spoken of as a son of Hei or of Manda di Hei, and as a brother to Anush and to Shetel, who is the son of Adam. Elsewhere, Anush is spoken of as the son of Shetel, and Shetel as the son of Hibel, where Hibel came to Adam and Eve as a young boy when they were still virgins, but was called their son. Hibel is an important light world being who conquered the world of darkness. As you are Hibel, he is one of multiple figures known as you are, being so named by and after his father. In the Devon Abadar, Hibble tells the figure Abadar to go and reside in the boundary between the world of light and the world of darkness, and weigh for purity those souls which have passed through all the purgatories and wish to return to the light. Descent to the world of darkness Hibble's soteriological descent to the world of darkness and his baptisms before and after are detailed in Book 5 of the right volume of the Ginza Rabbah. And also in a separate text named Devon Mosbuta di Hibble Ziwa. Hibble battles and defeats Kron and seals the abodes of the rulers of darkness. Some versions of this account have parallels with the Hymn of the Pearl included in the Acts of Thomas. In response to an upset of the dualistic balance of the universe, Manda D. Hayi summons Hibble, whom the King of Light proceeds to baptize in 360,000 or 360 Yardini. In connection with this baptism, Hibble is bestowed with 360 robes of light, the Great Mystery, Seven Staves, and the Name Yuar, amongst other attributes. Hibble is dispatched to the world of darkness and enters the world of Ruha lingering for many ages until the great mystery instructs him to descend further. He descends to the world of Zartai and Zartani, remaining there undetected for many ages while aiding the beings of light accompanying him with prayers and supplications. Before descending through the worlds of Ha and Mog and of Gaf and Gafan, and confronting Shtum over the disturbance in the world of light. Shtum directs Hibble further down to Guo, who directs Hibble further down to Guo's brother Krun, whom Hibble battles. Krun surrenders and hands over seals to secure Hibble's passage through the world of darkness. Hibble ascends, sealing the abodes of Guo and Shtum, to the world of Chin. According to the Devon Mos Buta D. Hibble Ziwa, Chin Anaton is the consort of Gaff. According to the right Ginza, Hibble assumes the appearance of Anaton, who is the husband of Chin. Hibble asks Chin what they are made from, and Chin shows him the murky waters, which the great mystery informs him is utter bitterness and the sole constant of the world of darkness. Hibble then ascends back to the world of Gaff and Gafan. In the Devon Mas Buta D. Hibble Ziwa, Chin had also revealed the mysteries of the jewel, mirror and bitter herb to Hibble in response to his questions, and he had secretly taken them. While in the right Ginza, 
Hibble marries Zarael, the daughter of Chin, while undercover in the world of Gaff and Gaufan, and she shows him the spring with the mirror, which he takes. In this version, Hibble is said not to have copulated with Zarael, since his intention was to locate the mysteries rather than to get married, although some other accounts consider Tahel a son of Hibble and Zarael. Hibble disguises himself as Gaff and appears to Ruha, who is pregnant with Yor. He leads her out of the world of Gaff and Gaufan, sealing its gates, seals the gates of the world of Zartai and Zartanai, commands the great mystery to confound Ruha, and seals her in her world. The Devan Masputa di Hibble Ziwa also mentions Hibble taking away dark waters and Tahil. Hibble offers prayers to the King of Light, who sends for Manda di Hei to send a litter of Kushta and file of oil to Hibble, which are received, but Hibble and his companions remain detained by the powers of darkness. Until a Masikta is performed, following which they ascend to the middle world. This alarms the guards, in response to which the great Mana dispatches Yushaman, who interrogates Hibble's identity and permits him re-entry to the world of light, upon which he is baptized 360 times again. Grave of Abel within the Nabihabil Mas The mausoleum of Abel in the Nabihabil Mosque According to Shia Muslim belief, Abel is buried in the Nabihabil Mosque. Located on the west mountains of Damascus, near the Zabadani Valley, overlooking the villages of the Barada River, in Syria. Shia are frequent visitors of this mosque for Zayarat. The mosque was built by Ottoman Wali Ahmad Pasha in 1599. Thanks for watching.